Hello and welcome to another devlog of my third person adventure game. Last time we made some UI for the game, including an inventory with a drag and drop and a HUD system. In this video we are going to create a complete day and night system. But before we dive into it, I want to tell you that I'm going to try a more relaxed editing style this time. Feel free to write me in the comments what you like better, the last three videos, which I have all linked in the description, or this one. Ok, let's go! First I create a new class for it, naming it Calendar Manager. This class is supposed to hold data about time of the day, number of days, and most important, the current value to which the skybox is getting mapped. In the update function I'm going to count the seconds. Each second in real life should be a minute within the game. Having this in mind, I read a function which also counts the hours and days within the game. Every hour I want to check if the state of the skybox should change. That's why I directly introduced the check transitions function. Also, I convert the private fields into public properties, because I maybe need to touch them from the other scripts. Later, I want to create a little clock inside of my HUD system. So, I also implemented an Unity event to which the HUD system listens. There are these four transitions. Night to morning, morning to day, day to evening and evening to night. So, I added an enum for these four transitions and also created a function which determines which transition should be played at what time. I thought of having the sunrise at 6 o'clock and the transition to daytime at 8 o'clock. Ok, I'm recording this in July, of course I think the sun is at the most top at 8 o'clock. Yeah, evening time starts at 18 o'clock and when the sunset is over the night will start at 21 o'clock. I maybe need to adjust these values but I think for this game it kinda fits. Also I should mention that each transition will last 1 hour in game, which is just 60 seconds in real life, so the player has the chance to enjoy the beautiful transitions. But how is this working at all? The trick is to just blend two textures within one shader. To have a bit cooler ambient I also changed the global light based on gradient levels. Here's the code for it. And here you can see the different gradients for each transition. I used the FS002 skybox textures from the awesome free fantasy skybox pack. I'll put a link in the description so you can use it too. I love these skyboxes really. So and here are the results. With this basic calendar system we can achieve many timeboxed events. Also we could create time based systems like bank interests or birthdays or fun stuff like that. But I think these are some thoughts for the future. Next time we will create some interactions with resources like trees or stones and create the first items for it. If you enjoyed this video please leave a like and if you don't want to miss anything in the future please subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching, see you next time.